Welcome to the video tutorials of Mechanisms by Mechanismalar. Today we're going to discuss the trammel of Archimedes, a mechanism that generates the shape of an ellipse. As you can see, it consists of two shuttles which are confined or tremeled to perpendicular channels shown in this animation in red and yellow. A rod which is attached to the shuttles pivots at fixed positions along the rod and as the shuttles move back and forth, each along its channel, the center point along the rod moves in an elliptical path, as seen here as the green circle. The semi-axes, A and B of the ellipse, have lengths equal to the distances from point P, shown here as the green dot on the rod, to each of the two points, pivot points, A and B. However, when the green point coincides with pivot point A or B, this mechanism generates straight lines. When the green circle coincides with the midpoint of A and B, the mechanism creates a perfect circle. The rest of the points on the rod generate ellipses. Furthermore, when the green point goes toward infinity, the mechanism creates circles with perturbations on the radius. We will demonstrate all of these, the straight lines, circle, and ellipses while the presentation continues. An ellipsograph is a trammel of Archimedes which is intended to draw, cut, or machine ellipses in wood, paper, or other types of materials. An ellipsograph has an appropriate instrument such as a pencil, knife, or a router attached to the end of the rod. Usually, the position of the pen, marked here as P, is adjustable, which means A and B are also adjustable, allowing for the shape and size of the ellipse to be variable. Wooden versions of the Trammel of Archimedes have been produced as toys or novelty items and are sold under the name of Do-Nothing Machines. In these toys, the drafting instrument is replaced by a crank handle and the position of the sliding shuttles is usually fixed. While they are nice toys for kids to play with, I find the name Do Nothing Machine rather insulting because drawing an ellipse before the computer age was actually a very hard thing to do, even though there were so many ways to do it. I also find it interesting that many people have made wooden, 3D printed or metal versions of this interesting machine, but all are carbon copies of one another, including this one. The only difference here is that my animation gives you, the visitor, the opportunity to play with this mechanism on my website. You can find the link to it in the description section of this video. I have also come up with another useful application of this mechanism. And if I'm able to iron out some of the kinks, I will be making an animation of it and posting it in the near future. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support. 